Hey crafters, uh, DM Scotty here. Welcome to the DM's Craft. Uh, this cra this uh, episode is going to be on traps. Uh, I've had millions requests for traps. Trap, 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 traps. And um, this is a pretty cool trap that I, I have used myself. And uh, it's a lot of fun and easy to make. And it, uh, uh, keep in mind that while you're doing it, um, you wouldn't have to do it the way I'm doing it. You could use the, it's a blade trap and you use it, use it for, you know, tons of different uses. Um, which I'll explain at the end of the video after you see it. And uh, let's go to the table and start crafting. Firstly, I need to make the blade for the trap. So what I've got here is I've got a one by one inch square. And as you can see, I've drawn from each corner and I've split uh, the middle uh, of each side in half also. And then I drew little marks here uh, where the uh, middles of each of those are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the blades on. So I'm going to start uh, from the middle where I marked and then I'll kind of go out like that, do a curved and then for this one I will do a curved try to get out of the way there like that. So now I want to do kind of a reverse so I'll do um, from here, the corner here, or that middle part to there, and then I'll go from the corner, or I'll go from the middle to the corner, and then I'll go like that. I'll curve in. I'll start like that. So now I've got a pretty decent um, blade looking object. So now I'll just cut that out. Okay, so now I'll cut that, and you see I've got the blade shape. Let's move that up so you can see. So I've got, you can see I've got the blade shape. So now what I do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of uh, cover in the center. So now that I've got that cut out, I want to give it a little more dimension. So I'm going to use a, another piece of cardstock that I've cut um, half inch squares on. So I'll just cut that off. Like that. All right. So now I've got that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my white glue. You could use uh, your hot glue. And I'll put a little bit on there. And I'm going to make it so it's um, not like this, but kind of like this. So that the points of the square are in between the blades. That'll give a little more interest. All right. So now I've got that. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. So I will let that dry and then we'll move on to the next step. Here I've got my uh, basswood stick. Uh, I cut this uh, 6 eighths of an inch and I'm going to cut that in the miter box. This will be the stem for the blades. You could also use a round, dot, a round dowel on this. All right, so now I've got that piece cut and I'll move on to the next step.
for this trap, I want to have it come out of the floor. So what we're going to do is do a base. I did a base, say, uh, inch and a quarter out of cardstock. And then I made these strips that are half a centimeter wide. And I'm going to have them around the edges of this. So it'll look like a block slid back and this blade trap popped out of the floor. So that'll be a really nice effect. But uh, the reason I'm doing these separate is because the uh, texture, I want to do these with the, the strips with the texture paint uh, and then put them on the base. If I put them on the base first and then try to do the texture paint, I'll just have to paint over the black texture, or the, I'll have to paint over the texture paint. So I'm just going to do these with the texture paint and then put them on after. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll go paint everything black and then I will uh, start painting everything up and we'll put it together. For my first bit, I'm just going to do the post that the uh, blade is going to be on. So I'm going to use a burnt umber, which is like the dark brown, and I'll just paint it on there. So there we go, got that on there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint the lighter brown on, which is a cinnamon. So I'll grab that on my brush. Just going to do it while it's wet. So there we go, got that done. And uh, we'll move on to the next part. Now for the blade itself, I'm gonna use some um, gun metal. And I'll grab the eye brush and just start. the opposite side also. Now what I'm going to do also is I'm going to add a little bit of uh, red iron oxide and that'll give it a kind of a rusty look or maybe even dry blood. So let's put a little bit of that on there. You can even do it while it's wet. All right, there we go. So we have our blade finished. I'll let that dry and move on to the next step. Here's my base and edging. And for the edging, I'm just going to uh, move it up to the edge of the trap tile here. And then I'll just mark it. cut. And now um, I'm going to just use white glue to glue this on. With these small pieces it's a lot trickier. I get the other side there. Now when you do something like this, you might have a problem with some of the edges coming up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a weight on this while it's drying. And now we'll move on to the next step. With my base sufficiently dry, I'm going to go on to the next step. So I'm going to grab my little post and my blade. And I'm not going to hot glue these, I'm just going to glue these with the uh, with the white glue again. So I'll glue the bottom there and then I'll just 
pop it in the center. And then I'll put some white glue on top. And I'll just try to center the blade. All right, so there we go, our blade trap. I will uh, let that dry and then we'll show what it looks like next to a miniature. Here's our trap, I think it came out really nicely. You can see it ne next to the character there. I'll pull that up so you can see a little closer there, the detail. So it really looks like it popped out of that of the uh, hole there. So what I would do is when the characters come into a room, you could have the uh, block slide back and this, this pops up and it becomes an obstacle in the room. The blades are spinning around. Uh, so you could have the character, um, if they're fighting an enemy, you could have them uh, push the enemy you know, into the blades and then the, the, character, the enemy could take damage or vice versa. So they become obstacle traps in the room. So you can have a lot of fun with this. Uh, another thing you could do with this is you wouldn't have to have it come out of the floor. You could have them come out of the walls. You could have a, uh, a beam come out of the wall with multiple blades on it. Uh, and you could have more than one uh, and have them. You could even move them back and forth like a swishy motion uh, each turn. Uh, and people in the way could get hit. So there's a lot of possibilities with this type of thing. And... Uh, uh, that's uh, that's the blade trap for you. One last thing, you see here I have a, a, a fishing tackle uh, case, and this just closes up, and you can put, I, you see I can see I have figures and stuff in here, but something like this is fairly delicate compared to the tiles, so you don't want to just, you may not just want to throw it in the box. So what I would do with this is something like this, is put it in the case like that, and then you're, uh, you're protected. You don't have to worry about it getting crushed or smashed or, or ruined and you'll have it set for any game you want to use it for. So I'd recommend something like this for uh, storing that type of thing. And uh, there you go. And I'll see you next time on the DM's Craft.